So this question from Silogs, where we have three statements and two conclusions. And as usual, our job is to identify which of these conclusions logically follow the given statements. Now look at the statements. 45% waste is white. 56% white is water. 75% water is water. So 45% waste is white, 56% white is water, 75% water is water. So, so what are these percentages? I mean, usually we don't see percentages in questions of syllogism, but I'm sure if you have seen our advanced examples on syllogisms, we have covered questions where we have got percentages. Now, basically, any percentage given there actually represents sum, unless it is 0% or 100%. So remember, just take it for granted, 0% is like none. 100% is all and any other percentage represents sum you understand so 23 percent 45 percent 96 percent 99.5 percent 99.99 percent 0.1 percent you understand 1 percent 3.2 percent you you just take anything between 0 and 1 uh, 0 and 100 it should be considered as sum right if you if you go back to the video of syllogisms you would uh, find that i have told you that sum can be anything between 1 and 100 but those are absolute numbers right sum belongs to i mean sum sum can be from i mean sum is between none and all that's the point right sum is between none and all so if you if you just convert that logic to percentages, it can be anything between 0% and 100%. You're able to follow. If it is very clearly given as 0%, then it is none. If it is very clearly given as 100%, then it is all. By the way, even 100% can be taken as sum. Like we say, all A's are B's can also be taken as sum A's are B's. But that's a possibility. 100% can also be taken as sum. But definitely all the other percentages are sum. You understand? So this 45% waste is white is nothing but sum waste is white. 56% right? white is water, is some white is water. 75% water is water, is some water is water. 34% waste which is white is water, is some waste which is white is water. And then 45% water which is neither waste nor white, is again some water is neither waste uh, nor white. You understand? There is no difference in any of these percentages. All of them mean the same thing, some. Right? So if you relook at the statements now, these are like some waste is white, some white is water. And of course, the last one is uh, something that we need to discuss a little because it says some water is water. Now, I mean, logically, some water is water is also like, looks to be okay, right? I mean, some water is water. Logically, there's nothing wrong there. Yes or no? Can you not look at some water and say this water is water? All water is water is a different story. You understand? You might be wondering why only some water is water, all the water is water. Yes, all the water is water. But is some water is water wrong? No, some water is also water. You are getting it? Like for example, there are 40 students. Right, there are 40 students. Can I not say uh, to, some students are students here? Yes, some students are students. Like, like for example, 25 students are students? Yes. Does that mean that remaining 15 students are not students? No, we never said that. We said some students are students. We, we are, see, never look at what is not given. Only focus on what is given. Can you not prove that some students are students? Yes. Some of these 40 students are students. Now, this sum can be any value. Like, for example, 25. 25 students are students. 29 students are students. So, logically, some water is water is correct. I don't see there is a typo. I mean, it can be taken as a proper statement there. Right? Some water is water. Don't argue that all the water is water. How can you say some water is water? All the water is water. Yes, it's correct. Definitely correct. But some water is also water. Right? Some water is also water. Right? So, and, and, and never look at the numerical value of those percentages. I mean, you know, there is nothing like mini sum and, you know, maxi sum. You understand? Sum is sum. This is little sum, this is more sum, though, I mean, I don't know if these uh, words are right, but then in sum, there is nothing like little and more. Sum is sum, whether it is 1% or 99%, it is sum, okay? So let's solve this now. So some waste is white, some white is water, some water is water. How do you solve this? Draw the basic diagram as usual. Some waste is white, some waste is white. So this is like, let's say waste and some waste is white some waste is white. So this overlapping shows that some waste is white. 
Next, some white is water. Some white is water. Some white is water. Right, you understand? So some waste is white is shown here and some white is water is shown here. Basic diagram, simple diagram, right? Nothing complex about it. The last statement says some water is water. Yes, some water is water. I mean, if I have to, if I have to explain that to you, we can choose we can choose some water here and say yes water this water is water this water is water you understand that yellow shading here some, some water is water yes i can choose some portion of this water and say this was water some of, some of this water is water nothing wrong right nothing wrong in it some water is water you're able to follow so so don't get confused there now look at the conclusions right what's the first conclusion some waste which is white some waste which is white is water some waste which is white is water now if i have to highlight which is that, uh, let, let me use a highlighter and, you know, make it easier for you to follow, right? We are referring to this, this conclusion. Some waste which is white is water. I, I think I'll do one thing, just a second. Let me highlight only one part of it, right? Some waste which is white. This green colored highlight here, some waste which is white. And let me highlight the same thing here. I mean, I've got this technique in one of our earlier sessions accidentally when I was trying to do something. Sorry. I think I'll have to redraw that circle for white. So what I'm trying to say here is, look at this highlighted portion. I'm highlighting this common region between waste and white. So if you reread the conclusion here, some waste which is white, we have highlighted that as green. So let's read it as green. Some waste which is white. Some waste which is white has been highlighted as green here. You understand? Waste and white overlapping. Some waste which is white is green. So green is water. Green. Don't read some waste which is white. Green is water. Green is water. Look at the diagram now. Is green water? No. Green and water do not overlap at all. So this particular conclusion does not satisfy the basic diagram. And if a conclusion does not satisfy the basic diagram, it is false. It does not follow. So conclusion one does not follow. Right? A conclusion that does not satisfy the basic diagram, it doesn't follow. You're getting it? Some waste which is white is water. Which waste which is white is water? No. Some waste which is white is this green shaded region. And not even one part of it is water. No part of this is water. You're getting it? So some waste which is white is water is wrong. It is false. It does not follow the basic diagram. Look at the second conclusion. Some water is neither waste nor white. Some water is neither waste nor white. Now, if you look at the basic diagram, it looks like correct. Some water which is neither waste nor white. So if you look at this water, I mean, I can take some portion of water. I can say this water or this water is neither waste nor white. Yes or no? See this water, whatever I'm highlighting now, right? This water, this blue thing that I'm shading here. This is that water which is neither waste nor white. So that way, second conclusion satisfies the basic diagram. Some water is neither waste nor white. But when a conclusion satisfies the basic diagram, does not mean that it is true. Right? If a conclusion is satisfied, the basic diagram does not mean that you take it as true. You have to check other possible diagrams as well. Because remember, a conclusion is definitely true if and only if it satisfies not only the basic diagram, but all the possible diagrams as well. And now you have to visualize a case where you think you can prove it wrong. And, and I think even without drawing a diagram, I can say that this is also going to be false. How am I able to say this? Because I've practiced enough. I've solved hundreds of questions from syllogisms. And I'm sure if I can do it, even you guys can do that. So, you know, don't assume that going by Venn diagrams is a lengthy process because you always have to draw diagrams. No, you don't really have to draw a diagram. If you can visualize it, it's more than enough. I will have to draw it here because I have to prove it. I have to show it to you and I cannot show what is my visualization unless I put it on paper. So, let me consider a possible diagram where I can prove that the second conclusion will go wrong. He says some water is neither waste nor white. Now, just look at the statements. The first statement said some waste is white. I'll draw a circle. This is waste. Same thing is white. Yes or no? Some A's or B's can be shown with the same circle, right? Some A's or B's can be drawn in a way that both A and B are in the same circle or both A and B are shown by the same circle, right? So this is waste. The same circle is white. So some waste is white. Yes, this is waste. This circle is waste. This circle is waste. And the same circle is white. Some waste is white. Second statement. Some white is water. Now this circle represents water. I think the same circle can represent water also, right? This circle represents white. The same circle can represent water. So some waste is white is shown by the same circle some white is water is also shown by the same circle and finally the last one says some water is water anyway doesn't really matter so the point is all the three elements here waste white and water are shown using the same circle same one circle can talk about all three we have not gone against any of the statements all the three statements have been satisfied here it's a possible way of doing it 
It's not the basic way of doing it. It's a possible way of doing it. Basic diagram is this. Possible diagram is this. And if I consider this possible diagram, second conclusion fails. Look at the second conclusion. It says some water is neither waste nor white. Some water is neither waste nor white. Now tell me which water is neither waste nor white. Here all the waters are waste or white. You getting it? All the waters are waste or white. You are able to follow. All the water are either waste or white. So this diagram very clearly tells us that some water is neither waste nor white is a false conclusion. Hence, we can say second one is false. So overall we will say neither one nor two follows or none follows. Right? None of these conclusions follow. None follows. Clear? And again, this is not the only way of drawing a possible diagram. There are other possible diagrams also which can prove that some waste is neither uh, some some water is neither waste nor white is wrong. There are multiple ways of drawing it, but I have chosen one of those. So don't always feel that uh, Venn diagram is lengthy. Venn diagram is not lengthy. In fact, in my view, this is the easiest way to solve questions on syllogism. So very clear, no confusion at all. Just draw the basic diagram, verify the conclusions with the basic diagram. If a conclusion does not satisfy the basic diagram, it is straight away false. If it satisfies the basic diagram, then you'll have to deal with the possible diagrams as well. All right.